hey guys welcome to our new video and in this video we are going to solve uh, one of the hacker rank problems and this is about the drawing book hacker rank problem uh, let's go with the problem statement so a teacher asks the class to open their books to a page number a student can either start turning pages from the front or from the back okay so they always turn the page one at a time when they open the book page one is is always on the right side okay we are good up to this point let's see when they flip page one they see page two and three like this the first page is one and after that it will be two three and one will always be on the right side okay except page oh sorry each page except the last page will always be printed on both sides okay the last page may only be printed on the front given the length of the book so what does this mean the last page may only be printed on the front given the length of the book okay maybe it means the last page will be on the front and it won't be on the back what it means i guess is the last page will always be on the uh, on some portion that has both the pages like last page won't be on, alone like this one i think that's what this line means if the book is n pages long and a student want to turn to page p what is the minimum number of pages to turn okay they can start from the beginning or from the end okay i think i got the problem now let's see the function description so it has two parameters n and p n is the total number of pages in the book and p is the page that we want to or the student want to turn to and it will return the number of pages to turn the minimum number of pages to turn in fact okay so do we have an example here yes we have so if n equals 5 it means total number of pages is 5 1 2 3 4 5 and p equals 3 it means the student wants to turn to page number 3 if he starts from the beginning page 1 will be there by default and then he has to turn one pages and he will go to 3 it means if he start from the first it should require one number of turns and if he starts from the last it's also one so it should return one perfect let's try something here then let's do one thing let's check if uh, if the student wants to start from the first how many number of turns he want to he has to do let me call it left turns equals so what could be the left turn? let's visualize something here so what i can do is one two three four five just visualize these papers here so i have page number one two page number two and three four and five let's say i have up to five six seven eight nine i have up to nine pages perfect and let's see if i want to turn to page number six and if i start from the first what are what is the number of turns that i need to make from one to two three this will be one turn two turn and three turn all right so how come i can get the number of turns as three so what i can do because every pages are in, are in pair of two maybe i can do one thing if i do p by two just imagine if you want to turn to page number six what we will do six by two it means three perfect if i want to turn to page number seven then it's also seven by two which will be 3.5 so i need to make it integer nice so i think i have the left turns ready let's go for the right turns if the student starts from the right what will be the number of pages to turn and then we'll get the minimum amount of these two perfect so let's see for the right turns what can we do let's think it in one way okay so can we do 
n minus p by 2. So what it does is we have total number of pages as 9 in this case and I want to turn to page number 6 uh, then 9 minus 6 will be 3. What we are what we are getting after this is we are getting uh, the number of pages that we need that we need to transit through if we start from the last because the last is n this 9 is the n and this 6 is the p makes sense okay and for this also we need to make it integer because it can be decimal value as well okay so i have the left turns and the right turns now it should be easy just return a minimum among left turns or the right turns was it that easy let's see i don't think it should be that easy okay i passed both the test cases perfect uh, do i have to make something some adjustments here okay can we do it the other way for the right turns i'm not sure let's go with it so what i can do is dollar n by two and it should be integer obviously and then what i can do is okay dollar n by two and then subtract it from the p should this also work should be the same thing i guess let's see okay it doesn't work why the first case is five and four oh it's not p it should be the left turns yeah as you can see here th these two are the same thing you know why because it is n by 2 minus left turns and it is n by 2 minus p by 2 and p by 2 is what it is left turns perfect so you can go choose the either way but it's the same thing these two lines are same thing okay nice let's try and submit the code oh my god we have passed all the test cases cheers see we have passed all the test cases so our answer is correct and this should be the optimal solution as well perfect so hope you guys enjoyed this video please subscribe us for more interesting and useful videos like this we'll be doing more of uh, the hacker rank problem using php in our further videos this much for today cheers guys